Hi everybody, welcome to our studio here in Morden. Let me show you our Prairie Barnwood custom stain colors. So there's a couple of ways that you can find our stain samples. One of them is on our website. If you click on design and then follow that down to colors, you click on that and it'll show you all of our color samples. Uh, you can order them online. You can also come into our studio here in Morden and we have all of our beautiful samples done on all of our barn doors. So right behind me here is uh, basically we start with our darkest color down to our lightest color and into the grays. So the first one here is black charcoal. Black charcoal is an absolutely beautiful color. It's not a painted black. You still do see a lot of wood grain in it. It leans a little bit more into the reds but not a ton into the reds, not a lot into the greens. It's a beautiful color. You can do it with saw marks or without saw marks. The next stain color is our dark roast, which I find gorgeous. You do still see a lot of really nice wood grain through it. Um, you can see on some of the lighter spots, it does pull a little more into the yellows, but overall, it's a beautiful color. A really timeless popular color for us is special walnut. We've done a ton of wall beds and a lot of dining sets in Special Walnut. It seems to go in a lot of homes. It's very rich looking, a uh, very vibrant color. Next we have Rosewood. Rosewood is a really beautiful, warm, mid-tone brown. It does lean a little bit into the yellows or oranges, just depending on what your wall colors look like. With Rosewood, I would definitely get a color sample in your home before you order it, just to make sure that it doesn't pull too much into the yellows. Then we have a new color for 2023, and it is Manitoba Harvest. It's an absolutely beautiful color. It's warm. It sits right in the middle of the light browns. It's not going to lean into the yellows or oranges or reds. It's a beautiful color. This is our Carolina color. Again, a really nice medium tone brown. This is another one that I would definitely get a sample of uh, for your home if your walls are gray. Sometimes it does pull out a little bit of yellow. This is another new color for us. It's called wheat. Beautiful color, really, really nice light brown color. Um, again, doesn't pull into the yellows and oranges and reds. Kind of sits right in the middle as far as the brown goes. And it has been very popular on mantles and beams and dining tables. This is Dusty Shore. This is another new color for us. It's a brown tone, but it actually comes out of the can gray. So it has a little bit of a gray back hue to it, but it is in the brown tones. It's been a beautiful color and uh, it looks great on pretty much anything. So now we'll get into some of our gray tones. This one is Rocky Mountain Gray. What a beautiful color. It's uh, again, you can see a lot of grain through it. It doesn't mute out the grain. It's not a solid. It is a stain. It's a beautiful color. For a nice medium to a lighter tone, gray is our Prairie Gray. And you can get this in a worn prairie gray where the edges and corners are a little bit sanded and worn through or in our standard prairie gray like we're showing here. So it's a nice solid color. It is a stain again. So you see a lot of the grain. Sometimes with grays, they pull into the purple or blue and these two grays are beautiful. This is mountain top. With mountain top, it's a light gray. The way that we do mountain top is the piece is actually painted white and then we lightly sand it and then we stain it gray over the white paint and then clear coat over that. And so you do lose a lot of wood grain with the mountain top, but again, it's a very clean, beautiful looking gray color. This is stone gray. It's a new color for us. It's a nice light gray tone. It is a stain, so you see a lot of beautiful wood grains through it, and it is a beautiful color. This is Manitoba Winter. It's a beautiful stain. The piece is stained prairie gray first. We let that dry, and then we paint it with a white and lightly sand it. So you do lose a lot of wood grain with it. If you do it with saw marks, it looks gorgeous. If you do it without saw marks, it still looks gorgeous. Next, I have Beechwood, which leans more into the lighter, the whiter tones. Beechwood is first stained wheat. 
and then we paint it with the white paint and lightly sand it. And so the undertone, the brown tone is wheat. It's a beautiful color. And then another favorite of mine, this is driftwood. So this is actually stained wheat first. And then we paint it with a thinned out white paint and rag it off. So you still do see a lot of nice wood grain through it. Beautiful color, it's really pretty. So all of our stains are low VOC water-based stains. Our clear coats are uh, water-based lacquer and they are uh, zero VOC. They're food friendly, food safe. VOC is basically, it keeps it from gassing once it's into your house. So you're not gonna get odors and gassing once it's into the house. It's gonna be settled and beautiful and you can eat off of it. Thanks a lot for watching our video. You can check out all of our pieces on our website or you can come on into our studio here in Morden. Thank you so much. <laughs>